kids welcome students my name is mr dait and i am your general science teachers and how do you do how do you spend your times in your homes i hope you are studying very well good as you know your regular teaching and learning process is interrupted by the virus cases but now it is available through this uh, video systems so we will going to start from the point you have stopped from your textbook page h7 and uh, you will going to uh, follow us through this video and if you do have if you have any question and confusion you will ask your parents students and parents will encourage you and they will initiate you to respond the question that you have been asked from by this video good are you ready students good general science general science force students i hope you do have some concepts about force as the end of this lesson students should able to define what we mean by force and the students should able to describe what we mean by gravity gravity students tangus tangus cannot move cannot move by themselves tangus cannot move by themselves you have to apply you have to apply you have to apply force you have to apply force to move to move from an object from place to place students a given object cannot move from one place to another place by themselves that's why to move a given object from one place to another places it needs a force so you have to apply force to move an object from a place to a place look for example for example for examples at your home students when you play a soccer 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 you kick the ball across the field you kick the ball across the field students in your homes when you play the soccer or when you kick the ball you will apply the force on on the balls you will apply the force on the balls when you kick the ball look when you play a soccer you kick the ball across the field is across the field is so force so kicking the ball kick kick the ball is a force a students have you got the point when you kick the balls when you kick the balls it means that you apply the force on a given on a balls then after 
the ball will be moved from one place to another places. That's why for an, order, for an object to be moved from one place to another place, it needs a forces. It needs a forces. So, so, force is, force is a pushing, a pushing or pulling, pulling of an object. Students, force is as pushing or pulling of an object. When you push or when you pull an object, it means that you are applying a force on a given object. Students, what is pushing and what is pulling? Can you try? Parents, help them to respond to the questions. What is pushing and also what is pulling? Good. Students, pulling is pull. Pulling is move something closer to you. Move something, move something closer to you. Whereas push is, push is, students, push is, push means that move something away from you. Students, have you differentiated the difference between pushing and pulling? Pushing means that just when you push something away from you, it is called pushing. Pulling means that when you pull, for example, a rope closer to you, it is called pulling. Generally, when you are pushing and pulling a given object, and directly you are applying a force on that object. That's why pushing and pulling is, is generally, both of them are uh, uh, engaged as a force, a forces. So, force means that pulling and pushing of a given object. Whereas pull is move something closer to you and pushing means that move something away from you. This is pushing, this is pulling. Have you got the students? This is pulling, means that you are closing the object to you and then you are pushing an object away from you. Good. So this is called force. So whenever you push an object and whenever you pull an object closer to you and directly you are applying a force on a given object, on a given object. Good. Students, force, force has a magnitude, a magnitude and direction, direction. Students, force is a vector quantity. It means that it will have a magnitude with directions, with directions. Whether it is to the east direction, whether it is to the west direction, whether it is to the north or to the south, and also to left, to the right, front and the back. Generally, force to have magnitude with directions, with directions. Thank you very much, students. So, we can write, we can write uh, a force by F. F is equals to MA. And it means that 
force is equal to mass times acceleration. Acceleration. So, a given object with certain mass, a given object with certain mass, when you apply a force, it will have a movement or it will have, it will be accelerated. It will be accelerated. That's why mass times acceleration will become force, will become force, force. Thank you very much, students. I hope you are following me very well. Parents, encourage your students to follow us properly. Good. Students, there are, there are a number of, a number of force, a number of force that act, that act on an object. On an object, there are a variety of forces that act on an object. The first one is frictional force. Frictional force. Frictional force. You see, students, what is friction? Friction. Frictional force means that friction is that frictioning as type of uh, forces. So, friction, and the other one is gravitational force, gravitational uh, forces, gravitational force, students. Frictional force, gravitational force are a type of forces, a type of force that we can, we apply on a given object, on a given object. And gravity, weight and the friction is, the other one is weight, weight. Weight also, it also uh, it needs forces to apply on a given object, on a given object. Uh, students, what is gravity? Uh, students, what is gravity? I will give you a second. Can you try? Please tell your answer for your parents. I hope you are trying the questions. Good. Gravity is, it is invisible, it is invisible type of, invisible type of force. Invisible type of, invisible type of force, type of force that pulls that pulls every object, every object down, down towards the ears, towards the ears. Students, you cannot see the gravity force, but it is an invisible forces that attract a given object down to the ears. Down to the ears. Down to the ears. So, there is invisible type of force that pulls every object down towards the ears is a gravitational force. A gravitational force. Students, students, our ears attract a given object towards itself by 9.8 meter per second scale. Students. Students. Have you got a point? Gravity will be uh, represented by G. Gravity represents by G. That's why our gravity, our ears, at 